I'm David DeCerto with my 60-plus second review of director Dome Karakowski's biopic, Tolkien, starring Nicholas Holt as the future maker of Middle-earth. Set years before Hobbits and Rings lifted him to literary fame, the film focuses on the early life of Tolkien. Being orphaned as a young boy, his romance with future bride Edith, wonderfully played by Lily Collins, his bonding with prep school friends, and the fellowship's grim experiences in the trenches of World War I. The ensemble and handsome period look are top-notch, with some striking fantasy flourishes ingeniously conveying his imaginative inner life. However, the film feels confused at times, uncertain which story it wants to tell. A fan of Tolkien's work since childhood, Karakowski's affection and respect for the author are evident. Yet apart from some veiled references and a mostly sympathetic portrayal of his priest guardian, Father Francis Morgan, played by Colum Meany, there isn't an inkling of his Catholic faith. I liked its affirmation of story and language in communicating culture, but it overlooks the Christian and particularly Marian influences on his world building. Tolkien was not a fan of literary biographies, distrusting their tendency towards the trivial rather than what mattered most, citing his specifically Catholic faith as an example of the latter. In painting his portrait, Karakowski is so focused on the emotional colors of the canvas that he neglects the deeper spiritual framework of Tolkien's life and literary genius. Perhaps someday Tolkien's tale will get a more definitive, complete telling. But until then, to paraphrase fellow English Catholic G.K. Chesterton, anything worth doing is worth doing with some disappointing flaws.